From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Cherulo. And I'm Keith Farmer. And throughout the show tonight, you'll hear from Wandell Robinson, <laughs> Nick Mangione, Jalen Geiger, Laney Fry, and Keon Brooks. That's right. Yes, a couple of basketball stories to get to. Like you said, Keith, we'll talk about Keon Brooks in a minute, but let's start with a few current cats from Camden, New Jersey, to Lexington, Kentucky, to cities around Brazil. <laughs> That's the story of Lance Ware and Kareem Watkins. They're in Brazil for a 10-day outreach trip that combines basketball with service to local communities. That's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. The cultural exchange trip includes at least four basketball games, but a big part of the trip is getting out in the community. Yesterday, the guys visited a school, held Bible study and basketball clinics for underserved children. In one of the games earlier this week, Ware put up 39 points what? to go along with 10 rebounds and eight steals, almost a triple double. That's wild. Kareem Watkins went three of five from deep for nine points, plus three assists and three steals. Their team won 96 93 in overtime. We're told they play a really good team tonight, but I just can't get over it. 39 points. How about Lance? How about Lance? I'm feeling good about <laughs> it. Hopefully, you bring some of that back to Lexington yes. for this season. So, those guys are in Brazil, but where in the world is Oscar Shibwe? We don't know for sure, but based on the video evidence here, we are not sure he's in the bluegrass. Uh -huh. Unless there's a new restaurant in town that we don't know about that I'm definitely not going to. <laughs> Oscar is eating bugs. He's eating bugs here. What? Yeah. High on protein, maybe? Rebounding fuel? Maybe he'll jump higher, get stronger. Keith, I would not try this. Would you try this? Uh, no, but obviously Will Levis wants yeah. to try it. He said, uh, bring some back for me. Um, uh -huh. I... I, I want to say I've had some sort of bug before. I can't remember what it was. I want to say grasshopper. Okay. Where but, were you? But it was like one. It wasn't a pile full like <laughs> uh, that. I can't. Yeah, no. I can't even I watch the video. I do that. No All more right. replaying it. So we may not know where Oscar is, but we do at least know where some other former cats are. The NBA G League Elite Camp is going on this week in Chicago. That's right. Keon Brooks and Kellen Grady are there right now for Kentucky. So this is their chance to show off in front of NBA and NBA G League scouts coaches and front office executives playing in five on five games and participating in strength and agility drills. Brooks and Grady got to play on the same team. Neither guy put up super impressive box scores. Unfortunately, uh, in this one, Brooks had four points and seven rebounds. Grady had five points, went one of four from deep. The NBA Combine, that starts on Wednesday. Ty Ty Washington and Shaden Sharp are expected to attend that. Brooks spoke with the media at the G League camp yesterday, and he talked about his thought process behind entering both the draft and the transfer portal and where his mind is right now. Take a listen to this. I'm all in on the draft. Um, my, my agent and my parents just thought that, you know, entering the transfer portal was something that was, that was good to keep all my options open. Um, didn't want to close the door or anything. You never know what could happen, but I can't even tell you who recruited me or who's been reaching out because I just let my parents handle it all. So that's that's the that's that's the thing with my with college and in this NBA process. I'm just, you know, working every day to try to get better. Now Brooks also confirmed he's worked out with Golden State and Sacramento and that he has workouts with more teams still coming up. So Keith certainly seems like we've seen the last of Keon Brooks Jr. in a Kentucky yeah, uniform. Yeah, I mean, he says, you know, he's not closing the door. At the same yeah. time, he says, you know, I'm all in on this. I'm either G League or mm -hmm. NBA, whatever it takes to, to start my pro career. So I, I think uh, he definitely will not be back in a UK uniform next season. Well, the UK baseball team is taking on Tennessee Tech tonight at Kentucky Proud Park. A win tonight would be some good momentum heading into a super important series with Auburn this weekend. That's right. And if it started today, Kentucky would be the 12 seed for the SEC tournament. And remember, only 12 teams make the league's postseason. But on his radio show last night, head coach Nick Mangione said, it's simple now. We just got to keep winning. Yeah, and we have to have this playoff baseball mindset. Right. I mean, it's just that's what we need to do. You know, if we want to keep playing, then you just got to win. And that's the bottom line. And, you know, some t in some seasons you win a lot early. And uh, these games, maybe just you're looking at maybe a seven or eight or a nine or a four or a three, you know. But for us, it's like we have to win if we want to keep playing baseball. 
And here is a look at the standings entering today. Cats one game up on Mississippi State and two games ahead of Mizzou. Mississippi State still has to play Tennessee, though, so the Cats likely get some help there from the Vols, and then Mizzou plays Georgia. So, hey, if Kentucky wins, they're in the SEC tournament, and they keep their NCAA hopes alive. No doubt about that. All right, Wandell Robinson got his first experience last weekend with the New York media after rookie mini camps. That's right, and Wandale continues to impress, reportedly catching a touchdown in yesterday's OTAs. Wandale said the moment is kind of surreal for him and his first NFL practices, and he's ready to learn as much as he can. It was good. I mean, it was still a little bit surreal being out there, just uh, finally on an NFL team and just really being out there, but it was really good practice. So. Really just learning as much as I can with the playbook, um, just getting all the terminology down with my coaches and things like that. So just really getting comfortable out here so that way whenever it's time for real practice and things like that, I'm really full speed and ready to go. Now, everyone is very excited about the versatility he brings, having played both running back and wide receiver at college football's highest levels. We know he did come to Kentucky because he wanted to showcase what he could do in the passing game, and that obviously worked out pretty well for him here. But, hey, we also know he's a team-first guy, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to win on Sundays. Whatever they ask me to do, I'll get back there and do it. Um, I haven't been asked to get back there well, for the running back room yet, but if they ask me to get back there, I'll get back there. With whatever they want me to do, uh, whether that be run the ball, catch the ball, catch a bunch of screens, jet sweeps, whatever they ask me to do, I'll be able to do it. And, um, that's just what I want to do. Now, Wandell also getting work as a punt returner in New York. Lots of early love coming for Wandell. People keep comparing his skill set to Tyreek Hill. Maybe not quite as fast, but awesome that he's getting mentioned in the same breath as one of the NFL's best. And Yusef Corker had the day's only interception in practice yesterday, according to Giants team media. So he is also getting a lot of buzz now as well. Women's golfer Lainey Fry was also recently recognized by the SEC for her work in the community. That's right, and she's gearing up for the U.S. Women's Open. We'll talk with her right after the break. You're watching BBN Tonight.